The fourth and final Forge Fundamentals video has gone live, so let's go over the details. So with Forge being on the Slip Space Engine, you kind of expect to have bigger opportunities. Well, you do, as the maps are about twice the size as they were in Halo 5. With the winter update, Forge will be launching with six different canvases, Arid, Ecliptic, Institute, Bares, Seafloor, and Void. If you guys like these news and informational videos, make sure to tap that like button. Let's me know you want to see some more content like this, but let's get right back into those details. A lot of these campuses were actually data mined months ago that we covered here on the channel, which is interestingly missing a couple of maps. One being Glacier, because we don't have any kind of like snowy kind of environment to forge on, or a water map either, but there was another data mined map called Ocean mixed in there. So this could be part of the season three update we could be seeing with Forge that we know is coming around. You also have the ability to have different types of roles within your Forge creation. So you have collaborators, you can have an admin, you can have co-creators, you can have people with different specific abilities to edit the map. And so then you can have multiple collaborators work on specific parts of things. So then you have one person who has the oversight of everything. They can just delete everything if they wanted, but some other people might not having the same level of privileges. Another thing they mentioned here was about the different modes you'd be able to forge and you have the test mode, edit mode, and play mode. These different modes that require different types of things within the forge. One being the edit mode, obviously like traditional forge, you'd be able to place and, and create whatever you would like. Test mode lets you just kind of jump into the mode itself. If we kind of fast forward a little bit here, you can kind of see what we're talking about. You can actually kind of jump into the mode and play around with a little bit here. Interesting thing, we'll talk about this in a little second here, but and then you have play mode, which is basically like a full on play test within Forge. You don't need to go back out, jump into custom games and do a true play test, which is gonna be really nice for the streamlining that process. Also, let's take note of Unishek's character right here. Definitely rocking some new Halo Reach styled Mark 5B armor sets coming in for Halo Infinite. Both shoulder pads having the blades on them, just like the bots have had since launch the game. Most likely this will be part of the winter update, but also check out what happens when he gets smacked with his gravity hammer. Watch this. It goes flying along with like the mongoose and some of the equipment on the floor as well. So it looks like gravity physics might be coming into Halo Infinite on the online retail version of it, which currently the this type of physics are only available in the offline mode version of Halo Infinite. So very important to keep that in mind. So I would, and I do plan on making a video talking about the sandbox update that's most likely coming with the winter update. As we do know that the pulse cart riding is gonna get a buff. So there's most likely other things happening with the winter update, a big change as well. So definitely keep you guys up to date as soon as that happens. Another great addition is the different version history that's be saved with this game. So. When it comes to forging, obviously you want, if you want to go back to a previous version, you want to go back and maybe edit that one instead. What you can do is every time you save your forge map, it creates a version on the version history right here. And the interesting thing about this though, you have to lock specific versions if you want to save that type of, or version I should say, of your map. And once you lock it, it will not be deleted. Yes, it, there is a 30 day cycle when it comes to a map where every 30 days, if a version is not locked in, it will be deleted. So that's one thing to keep in mind when it comes to forging your maps. Obviously you probably just wanna save the locks for when you really need to save a version of the map. Not every save needs to be that crucial, but you know, we always like to continually keep on saving when forging. So this is gonna be very important. Now, how do you get your maps be able to be shared? Well, you gotta publish the map. And by publishing the map, Basically it releases the map, kind of like a, almost like a, maybe like a YouTube video in a way, kind of like what I do when I upload these videos where it's not gonna be available for the public until you hit publish. And once you hit publish, it'll be thrown into the content browser that's coming with this and you'll be able to search up your map and have people play it. Now with releasing this out into the wild, there's a potential issue of uh, people while well, stealing your content, which I mean, I'm pretty much very familiar with that when it comes to YouTube and content creation in general. And this, you'll be able to actually copy protect your content, which is gonna be absolutely huge when it comes to making sure people get credited properly and people just don't steal your map and share it around and go like, oh yeah, I made it kind of thing, which certainly does happen when it comes to the creation process. Now, they did state that there is gonna be a credits option within each map. So if you in the map at some point, or you're credited within like the admin privileges, you get get thrown into the credits right here. So even if people do take your non-copy protected map, save it, edit it, and post it somewhere else, 
you will still be added into the credits. So if you're, that's huge, they make sure that we know who are the good forgers within the community because there certainly are some names that get recognized. They go, okay, they made a map. That's something I definitely want to check out. Where they're like XX420 Blunt Smoker, you know, changing up one weapon spawn and then taking all the credit for the map that might get popular for that reason. Of course, if you're going to share content, you need to find a way to, well, actually share it. And now we're going to get a community file share along with the winter update with Forge. The four different tabs here we have recommended, which is going to be kind of like a hand-picked 343 uh, option to showcase like anything that's kind of going around the community or a lot of people are playing around with it. It's going to be vetted, so it's all going to be high quality content in the recommended version. The popular maps are going to be the most bookmarked maps, I believe, within the last like seven days or so. Uh, so that's definitely going to be a hot topic trending kind of thing. Same thing when it comes to modes and prefabs, it's going to be the most based off of the most bookmarked items within, I believe, the last week, they said, or maybe the last month, my update around that time. So keep that in mind, guys, if you're looking to create some more Forge content or just download some great Forge content, this is going to be how you do it. And also they said that the, the browse all option would be down here as well. This way you can kind of do keyword searches and search for exactly what you're looking for. Uh, they said it will work very similar to Halo 5. They did talk briefly about the custom game browser, which will be coming with season three. And they did state that it's gonna be very similar to Halo 5, which I could imagine because well, the Halo 5's custom game browser was pretty awesome. I hope it works a little bit more kind of like MCC's file browser, which is much more of a list rather than like a bunch of thumbnails kind of thrown together. That way you're able to provide more information to the player without having to clutter up a whole bunch of stuff. I did just release one of my biggest videos I've ever made in my entire life. This video right here is telling you why you should be playing Modern Warfare 2019's campaign before Modern Warfare 2's campaign, which is right around the corner. It's a long one, but a lot of great details, so I'll help to catch you there.